wander open roads with us to the Tampa Super Show for part two of our RV tour. And this is a nice B van right here. A legend. There's the information on it. Snazzy interior, yeah. Very nice. Dodge Ram chassis. And then here's your storage in the back. Very nice styling on this. Look around here to the back. Midwest Passage 144. On the Mercedes chassis. This is a Class B van that's about 20, 21 feet, so kind of a shorter model on the Dodge Ram chassis. Uh, spacious and open on the inside, I like that. So this is a Midwest model FL, FSL, excuse me, FSL. Definitely tell this is a quality product. So this is a neat concept. This is like the old school truck mounted campers that you know you just stick on the back of your of your uh, pickup truck. And these have really come a long way. <laughs> they really have. I mean, we're talking bathroom, kitchen, dinette. And yes, this is a wet bath, so it even, even has a shower on the inside. Checking out a B-Van here, pretty nice. Okay, so we have a Newmar Canyon Star Class A toy hauler. This area back here can definitely fit a motorcycle or a golf cart, you know. Or uh, a... Or a... 
Can Am Spider. Well, Can Am Spider said motorcycle, yeah. Can Am Spider specifically. Yeah, definitely. Definitely get your Can Am in here. Dirt bikes, whatever you got. It has the bed that drops down at the top here. Fantastic fan. Got the TV outside here. So yeah, this is a pretty decent space. I could definitely see the spider in here. Comes right into the bedroom. Nice wardrobe area here. Very nice kitchen area here. Sleep for sofa here. I love this here. This is nice. Yeah. I'm sure they have popped something out of each of these things to make it so they're not. So this ramp isn't like super steep, which is good, and it looks like that part at the bottom folds down to allow, you know, for your toys to be able to access the garage here. Hey guys, Cedar Creek, Champagne, Fifth Wheel. Cedar Creek is one of my favorite Fifth Wheel brands and this floor plan is pretty awesome. Check this out. This kitchen is magnificent. Look at the ceiling here. Beautiful. There's a little wine cellar right here. Awesome pantry, put out drawers. Once again, this insignia. Uh, range and oven, which is really nice. Nice countertops, plenty of space here. Deep sink, residential fridge, very nice. So here you have your living room, theater seating with cup holders. Uh, actually, two sets yeah. here and here. Sleep or sofa. We're going around the corner here into the master suite. Big bathroom with double basins in here. Nice. So this is a large master bedroom with tons of wardrobe space. Here you can do a combo unit, washer and dryer, and it actually has a very nice desk area, which is great if you are full-timing and working from the road. Very unique. So this actually raises up from the inside. So this is your master bedroom on the other side of this. And this will raise and lower. So this is the Riverstone Legacy. Once again, with that really nice uh, toy hauler space in the back. Got a 50 inch TV on the outside. Two nice big awnings here. Really nice outdoor space. And we're about to go inside. Okay, Riverstone Legacy, let's check out the bedroom. So this is the master bedroom. 
um, when you are when you have something in the garage, such as your motorcycle, this this bed will will raise up to about here. So this raises up to here. So the garage space that you saw is going to be this much higher for you to store your your bikes, your golf cart, whatever you, you want to put in the back. So this is the bedroom with the bed down, ample wardrobe space, and you have your spot right over there in the corner for your washer and dryer. Very nice shower. Yeah. And the sink area. Nice little storage. Hey, so we're in the kitchen. Once again, I love these Insignia uh, ovens and ranges. Mm -hmm. These are, I think this is like a new thing. This is awesome. Uh, lots of countertop space in here. Very, just, just, just a nice feel to the space. Residential fridge. You can do some serious cooking in here. All right, so here is a Coachman Cross Trek. So we're gonna go ahead and walk inside and take a look. But this is a Class C on an E450 chassis. So just taking a look at the outside here. It has an outdoor TV. Walking in, pretty big stuff up here, I would say. All right, so here is the front cab and the overhead bunk which has looks like one window and a area for a fan you have your couch that seats two um it has two seat belts i would say it seats three you have this uh nice wrap around dinette here with a tv right above and cabinets here's your kitchen area I really like the white cabinets. It really makes it look really bright in here. Have your residential fridge here. The step up, which I'm not a big fan of. I like the flush flooring, but you know, to each his own. Some people don't mind that part. I'm walking to the back and this is the bedroom here. So you can see what kind of space you would have in a class C. Um, I am able to walk around the bed here. And this is the closet with uh, drawers inside the closet, which is nice. Nice fit closet. And just walking back to the front here so that you can kind of get a view from the other side. All right, so this is a Coachman B van. It's called a Beyond Li3. So this is the front cab of the B van. Looks like your typical van. And here is the inside here. So that is the, looks like a wet bath. And you have your refrigerator, microwave, some seating in the back, cabinets up top, and your kitchen area. The Durango Gold KZ. So here's the pricing. We're trying to make sure whenever we can that we show the pricing so you have an idea of how much these RVs cost. 
all right so here is the front living area actually this is really nice so you have the opposing slides fireplace nice big tv you also have the recliner that's facing you know the tv i like the flooring it's really nice just kind of an overview here all right let's go ahead and take a look at the bedroom i love the wood color in here Ooh, a nice fireplace in the bedroom tv and the bed area like this looks like a king size bed here all right and then as we move to the back um there is a large bathroom here in the master suite which would tell me that there's probably a half bath up front in the kitchen there's your tub or your shower area just kind of turning back around so you can get another look of the bedroom area here like that door so here is the kitchen area so very nice stove microwave have a really nice sized residential refrigerator and the kitchen island and looks like this model also has a dishwasher right here very nice and then your dining area all right here is a travel trailer by venture rv is the sport track let's get a closer look at the pricing so walking into this travel trailer here we see that we have a dinette you have your sofa that is across from the entertainment and this is a view of the kitchen so very nice cabinetry there you have the bedroom here looks like it has um barn doors on both sides and storage on the side and above the bed bathroom is here not super huge so it looks like a corner shower but it does have storage in the bathroom which is sometimes hard to come by So this is the Coachman Clipper. It's, it sleeps six people. Very spacious on the inside. You'll have two slide out beds, one on each end. These are queen size beds. You have a very nice dinette right here. And this right here is actually a shower and a toilet so it's basically a wet bath wet bath combo right here nice long bench seat and then this is your kitchen so you have a two burner gas range a sink mini refrigerator and some nice pull out storage here so, yeah. This was like our first type of RV was a pop-up camper. So this brings back fun memories. Yes, it does. Okay, this is the prime time Sanibel fifth wheel. So let's check this out. So very nice, very spacious theater seating with cup holders, pop-up TV, got your fireplace here. This of course will fold out into a sleeper sofa. Very nice kitchen area. Love these insignia uh, 
range of ovens, nice island. Big like pantry over here. Very spacious. Just a second look at the refrigerator. In the room overall. Alright, heading to the bedroom now. So here in the master bedroom, you have a closet here where you can put a stackable wash wash and dryer or I'm sorry a combo unit basically basically wash and dryer or just use it as extra closet space and a very spacious uh, closet here with some extra storage for shoes and hoodies and things of that nature very nice So this is the Sanibel WB wide body. I believe this is the 30, 38 series wide body. Nice bathroom back there. Yeah, good job. Double like bowl sinks. Yeah, these sinks are nice. Yeah, the double bowl sinks. And look at this the storage here. This is nice. Lots of cabinet space back here in addition to the wardrobe in the in the bedroom. Okay, we have a Heartland Cyclone toy hauler. When we're out camping, and we, especially we see people with motorcycles and toys and things, we see a lot of toy haulers out here. This is very popular. And this is a very nice model right here. So here we are in the living room, 4K TV. Gotta love that. Nice fireplace, uh, theater seating all around. Love that. Very nice kitchen in here. Nice kitchen, Burion, oven and range, countertop space here. Tall cabinets taking advantage of this height, the ceiling height in this rig. And while we're here, let's check out the garage. Oh wow, so this garage is very unique because it has a, has a bunk house here. There's a bunk area over top, so that's different. Wow, this is a new color. And then, of course, it also has your your seats here 
that come down and form one bed that goes all the way across. So you can sleep here, you can also sleep up here. Let me see if I can crawl up here. I, I don't know if I can fit, but... Oh yeah, that's for little people. <laughs> And one of the cool things is, you get your deck. I like these, these sliding doors here. It's cool. Keep the bugs out. Washer dryer connections here. Half bath. So this is kind of new, new, unique here in the master bedroom. This bed kind of is almost like a like a day bed style. It slides out. So okay. Yeah, it lets down. So it moves up when you don't need it. So you have the extra floor space. Yeah. And then at night, you just let it down. Yeah. yeah. Sit here and watch TV and chill, you know. That's yeah. Cool. So here's the bathroom. Looks uh, pretty fancy in here. Yeah. With the tub integration, which is actually pretty nice. Hey, we hope you enjoyed that and that it was informative, and stay tuned for part three. Be sure to check out our camping apparel and accessories at shopredsquare.com. We also sell on Etsy and Amazon. The links will be in the description. Thank you.